Yeah, man, Miles Garrett has been playing in a whole different universe this year, man. He has been in a whole different universe when it comes to his ability as a pass rusher this year. And I'm tired of people not recognizing it or lying about it. He has been dominant. I'm just going to show you one game. One game in which I have, what, 11 clips of good defensive performance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these plays, Miles Garrett. Eight. And I left out some hurries because I was like, yeah, the point's clear. Right? So let's get into it, man. We're going to break down this film of why Miles Garrett is probably the best defensive player in football right now. You're going to look for Miles. Miles Garrett is right here on your screen. There he is. He isn't hard to find. He's the big dude in 95. All right. So this first play, we're going to see Miles Garrett. Going up against Leia L. Collins. And you're going to see him get in and under. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this move, man. Look how easily he just dispatches Leia, right? So Leia gets one drop. He gets to his second. He barely gets to. This is Leia L. Collins, man. Like, this is why I don't think people get. Leo Collins is not some scrub. Leo Collins is a, a, one of the, like, I think he's former all NFL, like one of the better uh, tackles in the NFL to have done this. And Miles Garrett is not letting him get to his third step. His third step. Miles Garrett is dominating, like dominating in ways that we are not used to seeing in this city. Miles Garrett is just really good right now. Again, let me show you. Let me show you again. Right? Just Leo gets to two steps in this drop, right? Watch that back leg. One, two, and then Miles already in his chest. Got him off balance, and he's beat. Joe Bro got to throw the flat. And then that gets stopped. That's a play, like many, where Miles doesn't get a sack, right? And I see this all the time. Well, Miles didn't get a sack. It doesn't matter if Miles gets a sack because he impacts the game without getting sacks, which is how you can really be valuable as a defensive end. Because even the best defensive end is only going to get, like, what, 17? The best year ever would be 23 sacks. That's only 23 plays throughout the whole season. There's not that much. The sacks are so such a small part of a defensive end's job. To characterize their job or their ability to do their job on their amount of sacks is kind of ridiculous, especially when we're talking about a guy who routinely gets 13 to 17 sacks. Routinely. It's not like sacks are a problem for him, right? But – we fall into this trap of, oh, if he doesn't have a million sacks, he's not playing well. These are the plays that are more important than the sacks because he is making the game, making an impact on the game that's going to be felt for the rest of it. This is another play here. where He just completely gets underneath Leo Collins again. Forces a quick throw. for Because uh, Joe feels this. Forces a quick throw. And then the follow through is inaccurate. Miles Garrett making plays. This one right here. Miles Garrett on the other side against Jordan Williams. Holds his ground. Gets his hand up. Tips the ball. And the reason to tip ball is so important, right? And I don't think we talk about this enough. But the reason a tip ball is so important is when you tip the ball as a defender, yeah, it can get intercepted. But also, it means that corners can be physical with wide receivers at the point of attack, even if that ball gets there. You can't have pass interference on a tip ball. So you allow breathing room for your defensive backs when you tip a ball because now you don't have to worry about a pass interference. Maybe defensive holding before the ball is thrown, but pass interference, you take that off the board when you tip the ball. You increase the ball's chances dramatically of being incomplete when you tip the ball. Tip balls are important, and Miles Garrett is very good at getting them. Yank gets his hands up, 
And then good things happen when you get your hands on the ball. Interception. This is not Miles Garrett. I want to highlight MJ Emerson in this play because I feel like MJ's been playing well. Um, here is MJ, and I think he did a good job in run support here. Now we're going to see Miles is on the same side as him, right? They collapse in, and they want to kind of sandwich him. And then MJ's on the outside. He gets a one-on-one, -on -one, but he get, does a good job of shaking. Was this a tight end? He does a good job of shaking the tight end, right, being ready for contact. He knows that somebody's pulling towards him, taking that, and then you see the nice technique there to swim around, get around the block, and then make a tackle. And then is that Miles? Oh, my God. No, that's not Miles. Okay, that's, that's Grant Delphit in there with the tackle, too, who did a really good job. So that's, that's, that's given what we've seen this year with the Browns' run defense, I am happy to see that it's getting better, and that's one of those elements that I'm happy to see. All right, another one. Here and this is Miles Garrett again. Miles Garrett is lined up here. He's a little hidden. Here he is. There's Miles. Where's Miles? There's Miles. All right. And he just completely washes Jonah Williams here. Almost gets a hand on the ball. Forces a quick throw, anyways, right? So let's look at the technique on how he just completely washes Jonah here. Jonah doesn't completely get washed. Uh, let me rephrase that, but he does beat Jonah here, right? Offhand slap, rip dips, gets underneath, and now he can get where he wants to. So Joe has to get rid of that ball or else he's sacked. He knows it. And then he does. This ball's thrown real short behind the line of scrimmage, and it's the tackle right there, mate. Again, Miles Garrett impact the game, number four. Another play here where Miles Garrett impacts the game here. So he does a really nice spin move here, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Miles. Um, yeah, this is nasty, man. Let's go back a little bit. This is just nasty. So Miles Garrett gets double teamed right here, right? There's some Aj P. Ryan, there's Jonah Williams. They feel like they got him. No way. That's so nasty, man. Let's look at the end zone angle of that. My goodness. Look at this, man. Keep in mind, like, this is something Dwight Freeney used to do at, like, 6'1", 250. This is, Miles is doing this at 276. And just so smooth with it. Like, it, it happens in a blink of an eye. Look at that. <laughs> like... The grace. Look at that. That looks unhuman like, right? That he look where his foot is. His foot is at least like a couple yards from that elf. And the next time he plants, he is firmly in that elf, planted at the quarterback. That's crazy. Yeah, man, there, there, there's not many guys who play football that are like this. Miles Garrett again on Jonah Williams. And Taki Taki, is this the one? Yeah, Taki Taki comes in and makes a great play. Right. Miles Garrett gets a lot of attention here and he does eventually penetrate. But it's Taki Taki who does a good job of beating Joe Mixon, who's supposed to be protecting this gap. He does a good job of shooting this. Right. So he has all this momentum coming downhill. He times up the snap perfectly. Because, look, nobody's moving before Taki Taki he times this up perfectly. It's one. Ball snap. They know he's coming. He's downhill already. He makes a cut. Kind of gets caught up there, but then the swims him up, swims out of him. Gets towards the quarterback. And then just gets his hand in there and boom, knocks it out free. And then Miles Garrett gets him away from the ball. And then the ball eventually comes loose. The Browns get it. Was that IT? Oh yeah, this is the IT sack. Do I got the other angle with this? Yeah. This is the other angle with this. Again, IT does a nice job here of getting his hands down. And Jonah, I'm going to be real. Jonah sold on this one, man. Um, this is bad take for Jonah Williams because even Jonah knows he sold on this. Because what? He gets to his steps, right? He gets one, two. Let me see. I think he got the three. Let me see. Yeah, he got the three. He got the three. So Jonah gets where he's supposed to, right? One, two, three. Now he's setting, 
right? So Jonah should be ready for this punch when when IT throws it, but he just gets completely whooped here for whatever reason. Like he he's in position. He should be ready. And he's just late with his hands for whatever reason. And IT just slaps him away easily and almost gets a strip sack. And you could tell Jonah knew right when it happened, he messed up. Let me see. Let's rewind back. Jonah knew this the second it happened that he messed up. Look at this. <laughs> and he, he knew the second he, this happened that he, he, he made a pretty bad mistake, right? Because he, he's right where he's supposed to be. And he just lets him through. And you can see him. Oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. This is another Miles Garrett one where I think he did a real jo good job here, right? There's a twist. He takes on Jonah Williams. And he's basically like a guard in a running play, right? So Miles Garrett's going to push Jonah Williams up here. And then Deion Jones is going to come around that path that's been cleared to the quarterback and that's how they're going to get a sack here and miles garrett does a good job of clearing jonah williams here right he's just supposed to get jonah williams out the way he gets jonah williams way out the way almost gets the sack um, but Deion jones is there when he's supposed to great job clearing that's a great play by miles garrett that is a sack that is one of those plays where that is a sack for Deion jones that's, that should be a half sack for Miles Garrett. That should be an assist at the very least because he did most of the work there. Um, here is another one. Miles Garrett against Leo Collins. He was doing it on both sides. And oh my goodness. Put him in a blender. <laughs> this is ridiculous. One. To whenever look, he he's lucky he got help, but that collapsed the pocket anyways, and then forces a, a incomplete throw or something like that. Yeah, tip ball almost intercepted, but goodness man, that's more impressive than the first one he actually got a sack on. Look at this. Look at this. Let me see how many steps Leo got in. Right, All right so Leo's pretty athletic, right? He is one out, big old step on Miles, two, and it <laughs> whenever you like this, you know you got cooked. You know you got cooked. He knows he got cooked. Look how fast he's running back. Miles Garrett was cooking them alive, man. Cooking them alive. All right. This is the one right here. This isn't a sack, but he impacted the game. Unfortunately, the impact isn't what it should be because we didn't execute in the back end. But what Joe Burrow is trying to get here, right, initially, is I think he's waiting for this second window to open up on this crosser. But he ends up having to settle for this on second down, which is fine. And yeah, they bring in the second and five. Um, and then I think he's playing a little off there. He shouldn't be playing that off. But he's waiting for the second window. Miles gets there on another spin move, so that kind of destroys it. He can't wait to that second window to get the first down, so he ends up throwing short of the sticks. But the Browns get a penalty on Taiki Taiki here, so it ended up not mattering. But again, Miles made an impact on this play. Let's look at the spin move. Late in the game, by the way. This is the fourth quarter. Ugh, nasty. All right. So I just wanted to do this video um, because – I've heard a lot about what Miles doesn't do or if Miles doesn't do enough. And I want to definitively put that to, to bed. I, this is a game where he had eight plays where I could demonstratively show you that he had an impact on the game. Eight plays. Eight plays. Eight plays. See, that's why we get this whole thing twisted when we talk about sacks. Sacks are secondary. How many plays are you actually impacting the game? You have to watch the film to understand that. And when you do, you understand that Miles' fingerprints are all over this game, even if he's not on the field, because he impacts what teams are doing. So that's just a little reminder of the greatness of Miles Garrett. I want you all to have a great day. Have a good night.